We got reports from our on-site manager that there are people that are attempting to gain access into a unit, into one of the trailers, and she saw them moving stuff in. So I'm heading down there now to find out, are we dealing with a squatter situation and we just now caught them? Are we dealing with trespassers? Because there's a big difference. So we're heading down there right now. We're gonna see what the situation is. Doesn't appear that anybody's home. But one thing's for certain, all of this stuff that was that's here was not here yesterday. So what we have is we have somebody who's forced their way into this, into this fifth wheel and is attempting to establish residency here. And they probably know a little bit about getting kicked out. I can't believe really all the chickens here. Um, they probably know a little something about being kicked out of a property, which is why they're probably here, but I mean, you can see that just based on the stuff that they have, this, this person is not in the right mental state who's trying to squat this property. So we're going to get the authorities involved and go through the court process if we have to. All right, I just pulled into the property and right off the bat, one of the tenants, which is great, one of the tenants stopped me to tell me that they think that uh, that person living or trying to, attempting to live in, in one of the units as a squatter. So others in the community are really aware of what's going on too. So we gotta move really this quick. Have you seen them here? Quite often here lately. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Like I said, I, I got protection from home. It's here in my, this house. Like last couple of days uh, or? Last, last couple, of months. maybe a month, two months. And then they finally broke in and yeah, got they, in. They've been going underneath the bottom there. Getting in through the floor? Huh? They've been getting in through the floor? I, I don't know how they're getting inside, but okay. that's that where they... Door, that door was the last time I knew that uh, when the babies keep left, that door, that's how they got in because that door wasn't locked. Okay. So, I don't know if they locked it now or not, but the last time I knew that that door was doing this, and I had to come over and shut it too. Okay. I'm going to so get... She asked me for the number. I gave her the number, and I was like, but I don't know if they're renting out right now. She's like, no. well... It's I'm... not function. It's, yeah, there's the police now, yeah. so... All right. I'll... Uh... Yeah, uh, the the cops are here now, so I'm gonna talk to them. It looks like the sheriff office just arrived, so we're gonna get them to file a report and uh, start this process out. Yuma County Sheriff's Office, if you're in there, make your presence known. you're dealing with a squatter situation you got to move really really fast because as soon as a squatter comes into the property and starts to establish any type of residency then it's not a trespassing matter and it becomes a civil matter then we got to go through a whole entire court process to be able to get them removed from the property so I think we caught this fast enough that if she comes back to the property or the people that come back that left all this stuff and tried to move in I think we caught it fast enough to where they're going to be able to remove them. Law enforcement's going to be able to remove them for trespassing rather than having to go through a whole civil court and get them removed for eviction. So hopefully we got this one going quick enough. All right, just left with the uh, sheriff's office and they instructed us on what to do next. And basically, if this person returns, it's considered trespassing right now. And they dumped all this crap here. So um, we also asked them what we can do. It's just considered illegal dumping right now. So uh, one of the tenants here has volunteered to throw the trash out. He wants a nice neighborhood. So he's volunteering to throw it away and um, clean this place up for us to do a little bit of raking. And it's just little stuff like that will deter uh, squatters from coming onto the property. Because what happens with squatters is they recognize weaknesses within the community. And these two units up here in the front, we're in the process of fixing up for the owner. And because we're in the process, they thought that maybe they could just sneak in here and try to live here and try to squat on this property for a couple of weeks. Now, unfortunately, the people that do this, they're in a bad situation. They really are. There's no way, if you're in a good situation, that you're gonna put yourself through this type of instability. 
So unfortunately, they're probably one step away from being homeless. So this is a very desperate move that they're making to attempt to find a place to survive and attempt to live. But there are property rights for a property owner and we got to stick by those rights. And you have to do everything possible to protect your property because it will constantly be under attack from squatters, um, from trespassers, from uh, people that want to damage the property. So you've always got to be available to protect that. Well, there's some definitely some good news. The people that live here in this community, they were really like concerned and really wanted to make sure that that we knew that there was a potential squatter on the property, which is a huge success because I would say a year ago, the people that lived here really probably wouldn't give a crap who's who's around here, really wouldn't care because they were all doing illegal stuff and not paying rent and not cleaning up. So we've been able to turn yeah. this park around a little bit to where the people that live here really do want a safe, clean place to live. And they recognize real fast that this lady is trying to move into this place. And they're like, did you, did you talk to Betty in the office? And she said, yes. And the guy's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, no, no, we're moving in. We're moving in. And they dumped a bunch of crap over here. And it was, they, they started moving, moving stuff in like right here in the, in the front yard. Wow. Yeah, you know what? And they can, uh, uh, they can notice. This. I don't think they wouldn't notice before the cleanup if somebody was trying to, you know, just squat in one of the trailers. They wouldn't notice, like. Yeah, because the place was just oh, filthy before, but we caught it. Mm -hmm. We caught it fast. And so, anyways, talking to the sheriff's office, um, it was really, really good to talk to them because they were they were asking me very specific questions on how long the person had been staying there. And since we caught it today, this person has not had a chance to establish any type of residency. So they're going to be able to, they're going to be able to call it trespassing. So if they come back, we're, we're calling it trespassing. Now, if she would have stayed a night or like a few nights or maybe a week and we didn't notice it when the cops show up, she would tell the cops, I've been here a couple of nights, this is my house. And then we would have had to gone through the eviction process, five day notice. Uh, we would have had to go to the court, get a court date, hire the attorney, and then send out the constable. They could have lived there for free for like a month if we didn't catch this fast enough. So thank God we caught it fast enough. We're able to get them out on trespassing.